You're watching The Agenda. We're bringing you live footage coming out of Pretoria. Our colleague Kenny Mapanga is covering uh, that picket by the South African Communist Party, uh, which is uh, making efforts to plead with the Constitutional Court to rescind its decision uh, to uh, give parole to uh, Polish immigrant uh, Janusz Walusz, who uh, was a naturalized South African, uh, but that status was also taken away in 2017. And uh, two days ago, we were told that the Department of Home Affairs was granting him a temporary stay in the country so he could serve his parole. Hi. But Kenny Mapanga, you have the latest for us from Pretoria. Uh, what is the latest? We see there's quite a massive attendance. the viewers at home as you can see scores of supporters and interested parties as well as the alliance that is the ANC the SACP and COSATI have gathered in their numbers and they've just moved from Burgess Park in Pretoria and as you see now we are approaching the Koshi Mampuru prison where uh, Kosani's killer Yanush Walush was serving his sentence uh, we understand that he is currently in the prison hospital and uh, following that stabbing incident that took place, sorry. So where this all emanated from, and we can reflect on this, is following this constitutional court ruling decades after the brutal murder of uh, former SACP leader and anti-apartheid activist Chris Haney. Um, the judgment ruled that the Minister of Justice placed him on parole. As you can see, this decision has hurt many in this country uh, and reopened many wounds of the apartheid past. So what we're seeing here is more of a political statement and a political message to say that someone such as Chris Haney, according to these supporters, should not enjoy life outside of prison. So I'm sure you can see plenty of uh, visuals there from Alliance partners. We are seeing leaders such as the ANC Kauteng Chair, Banyaz Lesupi, the ANC Mzwandile Masina. I did see uh, Nombulo Mokonyane walking through as well, as well as former, you know, SACP leaders, as well as Solima Paila, to name a few that have joined in this protest. Uh, we understand that when we get to Koshi Mampuru, that's when we'll hear more of the political message and some of the demands made regarding this uh, this case. We understand that a lot of the the action that you're seeing on mass mobilization, Desiree, on these streets is due to the fact that a lot of these interested parties believe that Walush has not been completely transparent in the circumstances leading up to the murder of Chris Hani um, outside of his home in April of 1993. So we understand that what they need in order to get closure is those details of who were the collaborators and what was that plan leading up to the uh, assassination of Chris Hani. Over to you, Deirdre. Um, clearly uh, a big response uh, to this call by the SACP and you can also see uh, the African National Congress colors uh, in uh, the group that is picketing uh, this morning. Kenima Panga bringing us the story and we'll continue to follow those events.